This is Kevin Blackestone with Brett Polakoff, Ellie Sakpa, FanHouse.com, and we're going to tell you our predictions on this year's NBA Finals. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's the Lakers in six for two reasons. Reason number one, they were absolutely embarrassed last year, and that's got to be burning in them, their performance against the Boston Celtics, uh, especially that last game, one of the most embarrassing finals games of all time. And number two, because Kobe Bryant, once and for all, wants to get that monkey of criticism off his back that he cannot pull this thing off without Shaquille O'Neal. Those two things will drive the Lakers to a victory over Orlando Magic in six games. Brett? I'll go ahead and agree with that. Thank Lakers you very and six much. <laughs> prediction. Genius on your part. Uh, that's uh, what got me here. I reserve the right to say Lakers in five, though. If they get up three games to one, mm. and with this format of the middle three games being in Orlando, uh, I believe that they will have the killer instinct to close them out, and Orlando probably won't want to get back on that plane and come all the way back across the country just to you know, watch the Lakers celebrate uh, on their home floor. Ellie, I cer well, certainly you agree. Nah, not really. <laughs> My predictions for the finals, first of all, we're going to see a brand new Kobe Puppet commercial, and right before <laughs> they shot it, LeBron James and James Puppet left the set without even saying goodbye. But <laughs> when it comes to basketball, I think Orlando are going to win in five. They're going to win one what? in L.A. and four... Uh, one in L.A. and three on the road. They're going to win five games now in the finals? <laughs> 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 Absolutely. No, really? I, I believe that. I believe they're, they're the youth. I, I believe they're hungry. I believe the Lakers are tired. I believe the Lakers don't have an answer for Dwight. They don't have an answer for Rashard. They don't have an answer for Hito. And Mikael Petrius, the Michael Jordan of France, who could stop him? Well, I think somebody can stop the Michael Jordan of France. What's that going to get him? I mean, this is the Kobe Bryant of America, uh, arguably the best player on the planet. Who's going to stop him? Average 34 points per game uh, in the Denver series. And you talk about how, how they might be tired. You know, I think the Denver series really taught the Lakers something to, to, to be able to put away the Nuggets like they did. Um, the Nuggets absolutely trying to punch them in the mouth, trying to prove that once again they are a soft team. They stood up to it, they knocked them down, they knocked them out, and they've gotten to this finals. The Lakers have much better supporting cast than the Cleveland Cavaliers did. So you're going to see that same defensive plan from the Magic. They're going to try to let Kobe do whatever. The problem is the Lakers have guys that can score inside. They have Pau Gasol. Uh, the Cavaliers didn't have anybody that could score inside. Uh, Dwight Howard's going to have to work on both ends of the floor, offense and defense. That's going to wear him down over the course of the series, and you're absolutely crazy with that Orlando in five picks. <laughs> you guys never watch the Superman movies? Superman never loses. You can throw anything at him. First of all, Shaq Chris is Superman. Tonight. Yeah, but this is Dwight Howard. It's Superman 2.0. It's a new version. It's new. He's well, first of all, in this game, Dwight Howard's going to be going up against two big men, right? In, in Gasol, who's, who's got the length, and in Andrew Bynum, who plays very, very tough in the paint. Since he hasn't shown up yet this playoff. His offense has been lacking, but he gives... Gives him that he gives him that oomph that you need in the paint. He's not afraid to give a hard foul, and you got to think that the uh, that the Lakers, with all the fouls they have to give in the paint, are going to be sending Dwight Howard to the free throw line, where Kryptonite <laughs> is going to play a role. Well, we'll see. I mean, it'll be interesting, but um, I don't know. I, I really think Orlando, if they could steal one in L.A., they'll run with the ball for the next three. I tell you what, when you get on this big stage in the NBA Finals and you haven't been there before. It's a whole new ball game, and I think that's something that's really going to hurt the Orlando Magic. It's not very easy just to walk in for the first time and walk away with an NBA Finals title. But just remember what happened in 04, where the uh -huh. Lakers were 7-1 favorite against the Pistons, and everybody said, Lakers, so you got Shaq, Carmelo, you got Kobe. What happened? That was an aberration. <laughs> and I'm Kevin Blackstone, Brett Polakoff, Ellie Sockbaugh for FanHouse.com.